Hello, and welcome to Get Shut. My name is Niall Apert. This is the show where you get to try and sell some of your curios and object art that you might have lying around at home. We're here in the home of Sissy and Billy Merriweather here in the lovely town of Vag in Cumbria. We've well, had a good look around the house, you know, and it's kind of top to tail and all shite, but I have got my eye on one piece. Right, so we're going to have a little chat with Sissy and see if we can come to a mutual agreement and uh, purchase him, you know. Okay, Sissy. You all right, love? Hello, Sissy. Can you hear me, love? I want meat! <laughs> Good woman, eh, uh, well that's why we're here, you know, obviously. Eh, uh, have you had it long, sissy? Have you had it long? Feel like it's been in the corner for a hundred years! Does it have a, a, a much of a sentimental value, sissy? Would it have much sentimental value? Huh? Yeah. I just want shut! Yeah, well, eh, uh, you might have seen our experts nosing around earlier on, sissy, you know, they were having a good look. They were suggesting maybe there's a lot of history. Would it be right, sissy? A lot of history involved. Oh, well, with that slap of more in trench that works in 24 hour chemist before I had it. Normally it's passed down through generations. You know, was this passed down? Ha! <laughs> passed around, all right. Look, you didn't catch bloody pox off it. Ooh. Uh, now, um, do you know how this works, sissy? Have you seen show on Telebox before, sissy? Ha! <laughs> have you? Uh, it's hard work, isn't it? Uh, uh, have you seen show before? Do you know how it works, sissy? Yeah, I, well, okay. Well, I, I'm gonna offer you a few pounds, sissy, you know, and uh, they were gonna have a bit of an eagle. Bit of tete a tete, and uh, they were going to come to a mutual arrangement, uh, a bit of French there, uh, and then, you know, we'll uh, come to an agreement and uh, we'll head off, you know, with, with peace. Hey, I, I just want shut! Sissy, you're going to offer you £100. Sold. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, I want to lower the house before I put bass and match to it. Well, you see, it's not really how it works, is it, Sissy, you know, but <clears throat> you are the woman, lads. Let's get shut. <laughs> Okay, if you could just uh, wake your Billy. We'll, uh, you know, get going. Is that all right, sis? You can just wake your Billy up. What? I said we could just wake. Uh... I heard what you said, you great wazak. It's him I want rid of, not the bloody chair. We don't want sissy's Billy, sissy, because, uh, you know, we get 20 years for that, love. I, I, I give you 100 pounds. Not really how it works, you know. Uh, okay, uh, uh, 200 pounds. 150. Okay. Sold. <laughs> Hello, viewers, and welcome to the section that I like to call Ask Niall. I'm Niall Apit from Get Shut, and we've got a few little questions here from readers. Uh, over the years, my experience with the antiques and curios market has uh, generated a lot of questions, but I find that a lot of them are quite similar, so I'm going to answer a few now and uh, hopefully, you know, sort a few people out vis a vis antiques. So the first one is uh, from Mary Quinn from Hartlepool. Um, she was wondering if anyone would be interested in her old box. Uh, Mary says when she was younger that her box saw a lot of use and uh, admirers would quite regularly rummage around inside Mary's box and I find, you know, they would find, I say, uh, entertaining and unusual ways to spend an afternoon slash evening. But Mary says now that her children have grown and her husband has left, uh, in fact, uh, very sorry to say, it says Sydney chalked to death in a Milky Moose some 20 years ago, that uh, she has very little use for her box at all. So in fact, she says it's actually quite impossible to prize it open because uh, it hasn't been used much at all. And over the years, uh, she has used excessive amounts of lubricant, which has uh, caused uh, excessive stainage. But uh, in fact, she still thinks, thinks uh, indeed that it has a, a value. So even though it's covered in cobwebs and mouse droppings, Mary, as you mentioned here, it might be interesting uh, if you had a picture, if you could put a picture of the box up. I don't know if we can do that. Uh, maybe we'll get to that later. But uh, in fact, if anyone does have an interest in an old costume box, just uh, click on the link below and we will send you on Mary's details. So, uh, you know, keep on trucking, Mary. Um, your box does have use. But uh, we'd like to see some more of your box, please, Mary. Okay. Now, the next, uh, the next uh, question we have is from Cyril. Uh, Cyril Winklesucker from Applechucker in Greater Wales. He says, uh, here's a question about his cock. So, uh, Cyril's cock, uh, he says here, he's wondering if, um, can he use regular over-the-counter cleaning products for his cock, uh, or would that damage it? Uh, well, in my experience, Cyril, uh, cleaning a cock of, a, of this nature, the picture we'll put up now in a second, uh, it can cause a little bit of residue, a bit of scrapage, and you don't want that, uh, you know, particularly 
for people looking at it. So uh, he's attached actually a high-res photo of his cock. Um, I would encourage viewers to go on the site myself to have a good look at uh, Cyril's cock because it's very, very, very rare to see such an enormous uh, uh, representation of a biscuit barrel in the shape of a chicken. And uh, if you do know anyone that has any uh, uh, relevant products, please, again, click the link below and we'll send them on. And, uh, you know, hopefully Cyril can get his cock back to its former majesty and buff it up right shiny. So uh, now finally, we have uh, Lucy, Lucy Tropple from uh, Bainsbridge, it says here, uh, has a problem with her tits. She's worried about her tits. She likes to keep her tits together, you know. And let's be honest, uh, no, I'm no different than any other man. Uh, I do like the side of a good, uh, you know, a pair of tits. Uh, but basically, she's worried because uh, she wants to keep her tits together, but she's worried because she's having issues, you know. So I say, uh, you rub them, rub in between the tits with some lubricant, uh, maybe some petroleum-based product, you know, Vaseline, um, and then I think you will find that your tits won't actually peck at each other when they're on the perch and uh, destroy each other's plumage. So, in fairness now to Lucy, if you do rub between the tits, I think you'll find that uh, you won't cause any damage to either of the tits. So there you go, uh, that's it for another uh, week on Get Shut. I hope you enjoyed the uh, previous segment and our new segment, uh, Reader's Questions. We'll have, we'll have, we will have more, I should say, in the next episode. But until then, you know, keep it real and uh, we'll be coming to get shut in a town near you. ta -ra, Chucks! God, I was on the last place, smelt like fucking zoo when I came in. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> My God. You better be not filming this.